the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Assalamu alaikum, respected brothers and sisters. Welcome to Muslim Minutes. This is Muhammad Ali. And now we are to talk about foul language. Using foul language towards others and yourself is not only forbidden, but also spreads a huge wave of negative energy. It's hurtful, unjust, and degrading. In the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states, O oh, you who have believed, let no people ridicule another people. Perhaps they may be better than them, nor let women ridicule another woman. Perhaps they may be better than them. And do not insult one another, and do not call each other by offensive nicknames. Wretched is the name of disobedience after one's faith. And whoever does not repent, then it is those who are the wrongdoers. This verse clearly explains that using full language towards others is unacceptable in Allah's eyes. We are supposed to talk and act like the Prophet, peace be upon him, and his progeny, and the Ahlul Bayt, alayhim salam, did, which obviously didn't involve using full language. If you were to listen to our youth today, their most common use of language is full, without hesitating or realizing. This is very unfortunate because the majority use this language. What's even worse is that they don't accept that it's wrong. They see it as a way of expressing themselves. These people, like their non-Muslim peers, seem to be completely desensitized to the use of full and offensive words, including many that make others cringe with shame and embarrassment. Using full language is generally used when one is angry or frustrated. This is no excuse for using this language. During these circumstances, one should reflect what the Ahlul Bayt did in these circumstances. The Prophet, peace be upon him, and his progeny said, Allah has prohibited heaven to those who use obscenity, vulgarity, lack shame, and are not concerned about what is said or not said to them. The Prophet, peace be upon him, and his progeny has also said, the most evil of the servants of Allah are those who whose company is abhorrent by people because of their obscenity. Imam Ali السلام, said, A person of dignity would never use obscene language. And Imam al-Baqir said, Say unto people the best of what you would like them to say to you, for Allah hates the cursor, swearer, and slanderer of the believers, the user of obscene language, and to do it shamelessly, and the unfortunate beggar. All these quotes indicate the immensity of using foul language and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala condemns it. Regardless of one's religion or ethnicity, using foul language towards them is unacceptable. In the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And do not insult those they invoke other than Allah, lest they insult Allah in enmity without knowledge. Thus we have made pleasing to every community their deeds. Then, to their Lord is their return, and He will inform them about what they used to do. From this, we learn that foul language is acceptable regardless of whom it's targeted towards. On the contrary to what is known in the Western society, Islam encourages us to be very kind and just to our non-Muslim brothers and sisters. With that said, we pray that Allah guides us and gives us the patience when we are angry or frustrated. We pray that we are not negatively influenced by our environment or the people surrounding us. Respected viewers, we reach the end of our show for now. Thank you very much indeed for watching. And don't forget the dua to hasten the reappearance of the master of our time, His Majesty Imam Al-Mahdi, may Allah hasten his reappearance. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.